While freak weather can be deadly, every once in a while it reveals its grace. Even the darkest storm is packed with beauty. It sometimes just takes a photographer's eye to reveal it. I love shooting time lapses, and the reason I think there's a huge advantage for it is you're able to capture what a thunderstorm looks like when it's sped up. Brian Snyder's time lapse videos have become a viral sensation. July 3rd, 2014, outside of Phoenix, Brian captures a dramatic scene of this unusual phenomenon. It is amazing when nature flexes her muscles. Known as a haboob, this tidal wave of dust often appears with little warning. This is an animal made of wind, of sand, and fury. It's really cool to see, but there's a little bit of fear mixed up in it too. Haboobs are most common early in the summer months when the soil is still dry and become less frequent late in the monsoon's wet season. When moisture comes up from Mexico and from the Pacific Ocean, and during this time, thunderstorms are more likely, so we call those monsoon thunderstorms. Monsoon thunderstorms are one of nature's most dramatic spectacles. From their stunning lightning displays to unique cloud formations, each storm is its own work of art. I, I think that this clip is my favorite I've ever shot simply because it has Arizona written all over it. You got the isolated storm, you got a rainbow in it, a nice rain shaft, a shelf cloud. So I don't think you could fit anything else more spectacular into one video clip. It is unbelievable. As summer nears its end, Arizona's monsoon kicks into full gear. The grand finale before the season wanes. On August 8, 2015, darkness envelops the Tucson sky. It's Brian's cue to begin filming. Oh, wow, what an amazing show by Mother Nature here. This is a thunderstorm that is producing something we refer to as a wet microburst. But there's nothing micro about this rare phenomenon. Like a giant tap in the sky, these localized downdrafts can drench a city in a matter of seconds. You could have prolific uh, rainfall amounts that come out of these two, four inches. That's almost their annual rainfall in some of these spots. We look at a close-up and watch it in slow motion. There you see that big slug of rain coming down out of the sky and hitting the ground. Shortly after filming the microburst, Brian posts his footage online. Almost instantly, the video goes viral. It's pretty crazy how you can go from just doing this for fun and the next thing you know you're you know you've got thousands of people following you all over the world today brian's microburst video has over one million hits and its popularity continues to soar i kind of had this sense it would be special if not to the world at least to myself because i've never seen anything like that microbursts can be very hard to detect because they are so short-lived 